We are on the secret movie set filming of Unplanned, the real life story of Abby Johnson. Abby was the youngest Planned Parenthood abortion clinic director and employee of the month. After assisting with an ultrasound guided abortion, Abby says those 10 minutes changed her life forever. Abby, thank you for being brave enough to share your story, Unplanned. How difficult was it for you to write your book and now see it be made into a movie and knowing that thousands of women babies were involved in your story? You know, writing my book was, um, it was certainly uh, made me vulnerable uh, to tell that story, but uh, seeing, uh, you know, Ashley play me really at the worst part of my life, um, the worst part of who I was. Um, it's, you know, it's emotional for me, um, but also healing just to know how far removed I am from that person that I used to be. Um, but you know, there's some things that will just live with me forever. I mean, the fact that I have participated in over 20,000 abortions, um, that is something that, that will be a burden of mine to carry um, for the rest of my time here on earth. And, and honestly, it's, I'm okay with it because that burden keeps me motivated to keep moving forward and to keep finding justice for not only these babies that have been aborted, but also for their moms whose hearts have been hurt. And to bring healing from that hurt. Absolutely. You play Abby in the movie, and you got some news right before you went on set that you didn't know about. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, Growing up, my mother had always been open with me that she had an abortion when she was 16. Uh, she had always shared with me, I thought about aborting you because she was 19, but that she said she could never do it. Um, I had already been working for four days when I answered the phone and I said, hey mom, I'm in Oklahoma, by the way. And I started sharing Abby's story and letting her know what the film was about. I knew she was gonna have an emotional reaction, but it was way more than I anticipated. And she said, I'm gonna tell you something I never told you before. I was actually in the clinic. They called my name. They took me back. They examined me. And the woman who examined me was very pregnant. And gosh, now I'm going to get emotional telling it. I tell it over and over, but it's still. Um, and she said, I told her I couldn't do it. I got up and I walked out and I told your dad that he could be a part of it or he could leave, but I was going to have you. And I didn't say this earlier, but she left and she bought maternity clothes and went to my um, grandmother's house. Um, but I didn't know that, none of that. I mean, it's very different to have someone say, I thought about aborting you, but I couldn't, to then to be seconds away from never existing. Um, so it blew me away. I don't even think about having to process it. That's why I'm getting so emotional. But I would love for someone to scientifically explain the odds of that happening. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Yeah. Does that make you play her in a different light, knowing that you just found that out right before the filming? Well, Abby changed my life, period, listening to her testimony. Uh, it was so compelling to me that I knew immediately I wanted to be a part of the story. I felt like it was my story to tell, that I wanted to tell her story and bring it to life. I don't know necessarily if that changed it, other than the fact that it showed me that God's hand in my life was so evident that he, he had such a personal you know, relationship with me and plan for where I was going to go that I couldn't deny it. I've never felt so close to God as I have on this set and this experience. It's amazing. Tell me about the day that, the 10 minutes that changed your life forever, um, that day that you assisted with it. Yeah, um, I had been called in to assist. Uh, I was a clinic director. I didn't really assist with abortions that often, but we were we had a visiting physician. He was doing an ultrasound guided abortion procedure, which is unusual. Um, to my knowledge, ultrasound guidance had never been done inside of my clinic during an abortion. Um, but I was there watching and saw this 13-week-old baby fighting and struggling for his life against the abortion instrument. And I knew then that I had completely denied, not, not the existence of the child, but I had denied the humanity of these children. And I had done something so unnatural by separating a woman from her child. And I knew that I had lied to so many women. And I had to figure out a way to rectify that. And the only 
thing I could think of was that I had to walk away from my job. It was, it was, I couldn't change it from the inside out, right? But I knew I had to walk away and I had to be a different person. And so that's what I did. And I was, I was very lucky that I had, very blessed that I had a supportive family who was there for me and my husband was supportive um, because Planned Parenthood certainly turned their back on me and took me to court and uh, it, it made it very evident that this tolerance that I had been taught uh, inside of, of the abortion industry um, was just false. It was, they were only tolerant of people that believed just like them, but the tolerance I really found was on the other side of this fence, these pro-lifers who had been praying for me, who had been reaching out to me every day for eight years, they were the ones that opened their arms and said, no matter your past, no matter really even your future, no matter what you do from this moment on, we love you, we care for you, and we're gonna be here with our arms wide open. Story of forgiveness and redemption. Yes. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Abby is now the wife and mother of seven children with one on the way and started a ministry called And Then There Were None. It helps abortion clinic workers leave the abortion industry by offering financial, legal, spiritual, and emotional support. For more information, go to abbyjohnson.org. And to watch more videos like this, go to movieguide.org. I can't be part of this anymore. Everything that they told us is a lie. Don't underestimate the repercussions of this. You gotta be careful. Rhonda, please don't do this! Rhonda! Let me tell you what's gonna happen if you walk through that door. Congratulations. You've made an enemy of one of the most powerful organizations on the planet.